Hello everyone. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic, motion in one dimension. Let's first understand the difference between, rest and motion. A body is said to be at rest, if its position doesn't change, with respect to fixed points, in its surroundings. Examples of bodies in rest are, a bench fixed in a park, a book lying on the table, group of cycles parked in the parking. A body is said to be in motion, if its position continuously changes, with respect to its surroundings. Examples for the bodies in motion are, a bird flying in the air, a boy playing with a football in the playground, a rotating fan. The quantities which have only magnitude, but doesn't have any direction associated with it, are called as, scalar quantities. Examples of scalar quantities are, time, mass, speed, distance, temperature, length, area, volume, work, energy, etc. The quantities which have, both magnitude, and direction associated with it, are called as vector quantities. Examples of vector quantities are, magnetic field, gravitational force, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, weight, etc. The various terms related to motion are, distance, displacement, speed, uniform speed, variable speed, average speed, instantaneous speed, velocity, uniform velocity, variable velocity, average velocity, instantaneous velocity, acceleration, deceleration. Let's now understand, each and every term, in detail. Let us consider, a student, from his house wants to go to school, by a car. If he chooses a path, A, B, C, D to reach the school, then the path taken by the car is termed as distance. So, distance is defined as, the length of path taken by a body, when moving from one point to another. The student, can also go to school by taking shortest path AD, which is termed as displacement. So, displacement is defined as, the shortest distance between initial and final positions of the body. Now, let's understand the difference between, distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity. Whereas, displacement is a vector quantity. Distance traveled is always positive. Whereas, displacement may be positive, negative or zero. Distance traveled by a moving body, is the actual length of the path. Whereas, displacement is the shortest distance between, initial and final positions of the body. Distance, is always greater than or equal to the displacement. Whereas, displacement is always less than or equal to the distance. Let's understand distance and displacement with an example. Consider, a person starts from position A, and reaches position A again, by moving along the path ABCDA. Then, distance traveled is, the sum of distances covered by the car, along path ABCDA. That's equal to, 5 plus, 8 plus, 5 plus, 8, that's equal to, 26 kilometers. Displacement is the shortest path taken from A to A, which is equal to zero. Let's consider another example, to understand distance and displacement. Consider a boy starts moving, from A and reaches D, through the path A B C D. After reaching position D, he turns back and moves to position C. Then, distance traveled by him will be, the distance traveled along the path A B C D C, which is equal to 4, plus 5, plus 3, plus 3, which is equal to 15 kilometers. While the displacement, is the shortest path between A and C which is equal to 4, plus 5, which is equal to 9 kilometers. Now let's understand, what is speed? Speed is defined as, distance traveled by the body, in a given interval of time. Speed is a scalar quantity, as it is represented with, only magnitude. Speed is expressed as, distance traveled, divided by, time taken to cover the distance. 
speed is expressed in SI system as meter per second, while in CGS system, it is expressed as centimeter per second. Now, let's understand speed with an example. Consider, a car moving from A to B, covers a distance of 200 meters in 4 seconds. Speed of the car is obtained by using the formula, speed is equal to, distance traveled, divided by, time taken to cover that distance. Which is equal to, 200, divided by, 4. Which is nothing but, 50 meter per second. The various types of speed are, uniform speed, variable speed, average speed and instantaneous speed. Let's discuss about them now. If a body covers equal distances, in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be moving with, uniform speed. Here, the bike covers equal distances of 5 meters, along the paths, AB, BC and CD, in equal interval of 1 second, so bike has uniform speed of 5 meter per second, along the paths, AB, BC and CD. If a body covers unequal distances, in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be moving with, variable speed. Here, the bike covers unequal distances of 4 meters, along the path, AB, 5 meters, along the path BC and 3 meters, along the path CD, in equal interval of 1 second, so bike has, variable speed of 4 meters per second, along the path, AB, 5 meters per second, along the path BC and 3 meters per second, along the path CD. Average speed, is the ratio of, total distance traveled by the body and, the total time taken to cover the distance. Here, the bike moves along the path AB with a speed of 4 meter per second, 5 meter per second along BC and 3 meter per second along CD. Then, average speed is given as, 4 plus 5 plus 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 4 meter per second. Instantaneous speed is the speed of the body, at a certain instant of time, when the body is moving with variable speed. Now, let's discuss about velocity. Velocity is defined as, distance traveled by the body, in a given interval of time, in a specified direction. Velocity is a vector quantity, as it has both magnitude, and direction. Velocity is expressed as, displacement, divided by, the time taken to cover it. Velocity is expressed in SI system as, meter per second. While, in CGS system, it is expressed as, centimeter per second. Let's understand the concept of velocity, with an example. Consider, a car moving from A to B, covers a distance of, 200 meters, in 4 seconds, from west to east. Velocity of the car is obtained by using the formula, displacement, divided by, time taken to cover it, which is equal to, 200 divided by, 4. So velocity is, 50 meter per second, towards east. The various types of velocity are, uniform velocity, variable velocity, average velocity and, instantaneous velocity. Let's discuss about, each of them in detail. If a body covers equal distances, in equal intervals of time, in a specified direction, then the body is said to be moving with, uniform velocity. For example, if a bike covers equal distances of 5 meters, along the path AB, BC, and CD, in equal intervals of time, of 1 second, then, the bike has uniform velocity of 5 meter per second towards east, along the paths AB, BC and CD. If a body covers unequal distances, in equal intervals of time, in a specified direction, then the body is said to be moving with, variable velocity. For example, if a bike covers unequal distances of 4 meters, along the path AB, 5 meters along the path BC, and 3 meters along the path CD, in equal intervals of time, of 1 second. Then, the bike has variable velocity of 4 meter per second towards east, along the paths AB, 5 meter per second towards east, along the path BC and 3 meter per second towards east, along the path CD. Average velocity is the ratio of, total distance traveled by the body, in a specified direction, and the total time taken to cover the distance. For example, if the bike has, variable velocity of 4 meter per second towards east, along the paths AB, 5 meter per second towards east, along the path BC and 3 meter per second towards east, along the path CD. Then average velocity is, sum of 4 plus 5 plus 3, divided by, 3, which is 4 meter per second towards east. 
instantaneous velocity is, the velocity of the body at a certain instant of time, when the body is moving with, variable velocity. Thank you, for watching this video.